On the 14th of June, 1949, Richard Strauss's 85th birthday was celebrated with the production of Der Rosenkavalier. At the rostrum, a young Hungarian conductor, Georg Scholti. You can imagine the palpitation which I had when he arrived to the dressing rehearsal, and I took him down to the orchestra pit and introduced him his old orchestra, which partly, of course, was the same people whom we worked so much. It was a very moving, the whole orchestra stood up, and it was a very moving experience. And then, as he arrived to the desk, I stood beside of him. He said to me, where are the horns? I said, there, Dr. Strauss. Trumpet. You see, I, I can't see anything anymore. I can't hear also very well, but I trust I know it well. He then conducted a very little piece of the end of the second act with George Hahn, sang his first ox. Meine Herren, wir fangen an, Ziffer 253. Three months after this memorable Rosenkavalier rehearsal, Strauss died, and Germany mourned one of its most important opera composers, the greatest since Richard Wagner. Dr. Richard Strauss lebt nicht mehr. Sein Geist, sein Genius, seine Musik wird Jahrhundert überleben. I played in his funeral music, and this was one of the most moving musical experience of my life. Not what I did, but because how it happened. One of his wish was in the testament that the Rosenkavalier Tetzet will be sung and played. One by one, the three singers broke down. Not on the same time, but they began to cry. And again, we finished together, we came back slowly. And I went on playing with the orchestra, the third set, without a point, without singing at all. And Pauline was there, the famous Pauline who was until that point the strength itself, totally broken, totally broken, crying and broken. And I think very soon, a few months later, she was dead also. Couldn't live without Richard. 